Peter Stevens like Product Link primarily because it allows them to keep a track on their equipment that is out on self-drive hire or rental. Every one of our machines is, is logged on Product Link. We actually bought our first CAT 962 in 2008 and part of the package was the old Product Link and the old Product Link was uh, replaced by the new Product Link in February this year, 2011. It allows them to check locations to make sure the equipment's not working outside of agreed areas. It allows them to capture the uh, hours usage of that equipment, make sure it's not working outside of allowed or agreed contract hours. Product Link has saved me a considerable amount of time in getting the clock hours at the end of the month. It has improved our systems, it's made them a lot more efficient and it has probably most of all improved the accuracy of our invoicing. We can work out start and stop times of it, so how many times it's been started and stopped in a day. I produce a report at the end of every month which has all the hours on uh, of all the machines that we have. So in the past, I've had to phone up the sites, the managers, the operators, the foremen, try to get the machine hours off those people. And then it might take three days to come back to me, in which case I'd have to knock three days worth of uh, hours off the, the machine. Because we work nationwide, the machines do move from site to site and we use external low loader companies so we don't move machines ourselves. It's useful to know when a machine is actually moving because it isn't always moving when, when the low loader company tells you. So we have to use the, the tracking on Vision Link to find out where the machine is. We can see where the machines are, we can see exactly what hours are on them and we can plan our servicing trips a lot more efficiently. We use Product Link to monitor any fault codes that the machine's got. The fault code side is really, really tells you what the machine is doing without actually being there. So they know something is going to happen. It's not a major issue now, but can start to talk about planning. And the next time this is down, we need to be looking at this. We need to be scheduling these parts in. You need to be taking care of this. If there is a, a lot of warnings coming through. We may not be aware of them, the machine may not have broken down, but there may be some long-term potential damage happening mechanically to the machine, and Finnings have actually contacted us to advise us of this, in which case we, we have been able to address it with the customer. Finnings head office uh, emailed our local field service depot to tell them that on one particular site, a few of the machines were actually coasting in neutral, so when they're not engaging in gear, it could, t could cause long-term damage to, to the machine mechanically. Specifically, one of these machines is, is being reported coasting in neutral events. And again, we're going to go forward and, and advise that and maybe offer some, some form of a training. I emailed the site manager to let him know that either one or all of his operators were knocking the machine into neutral and coasting, coasting it. He found out that it actually was a generic problem, it wasn't one specific operator, so he could have a general meeting with the operators and ask them to, to keep the machine in gear, thus averting the potential breakdown in the future.